Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the MPJD Media Podcast. My name is Julius. And my name is Megan. And this is the second episode during the COVID-19, aka the coronavirus. So, Julius, how is your second week going? Not too bad. Not too much change. How was my second week? (laughs) Hold on. I feel like a lot of things changed this week. I mean, not us wise. We've been just working from home. Yeah. But worldwide. Worldwide, a lot a has lot happened. A lot of changes. Mm-hmm. The death toll has risen in New York City. It has tripled. Really? Yeah. It went from, I think it jumped. Uh, from day to day? Yeah, day to day. Every single day, it was just getting worse. Wow. So, actually, we have the most confirmed cases of all the countries. We do now. Mm-hmm. More than Italy, more than China. I wonder if we'll surpass both of them combined. Probably. Probably. I know that Spain has it very bad out there as well. Mm-hmm. I think, yeah, I'm looking right now, and they're, like, right up against China. They said that they, were, they surpassed China. Really? Yeah. I, oh, they sur- surpassed deaths. Deaths, wow. Yeah, but You're not right. confirmed okay, deaths, cases. Deaths. Yeah. My, my goodness. It's crazy. Look at where we are today. It's, and the thing is, it's it's just going to get even worse. Yep. This is just the beginning This still. is just the beginning. The peak is actually expected to be two more weeks from now. Mm-hmm. And that's when we're supposed to see the COVID-19 virus at its worst. Like, yeah, when it really acts. That's craziness. So Governor Andrew Cuomo was complaining about people ignoring social distancing. Mm -hmm. People were going to parks, doing sports, and hanging out as if it was their day off. As if it's the 4th of July. Yeah. And they're having barbecues. They have nothing better to do, I guess. This is a huge issue because it just takes one person to spread Mm -hmm. to thousands of other people. I heard he's taking action, though. I saw on the news that he took down 80 basketball hoops. Really? Yeah. Where? Because people were in the city. Because wow. people were playing basketball with each other. They are getting up close and personal. He did mention that. I did see something like that. Uh-huh. He, he said that, yeah, basketball is a sport that you have to be up and close. Mm-hmm. And you, it, it involves touching because you have to go block, block the guard, guy and yeah. guard. So he was trying to make that a huge point. I mean, that's crazy, though, because I wouldn't even want to get that close to a stranger. Like, if it's a pickup game or even my friends, I don't even want to be too close to right now. Yeah, at this point, many people are looking at the situation as a notification. Yeah, time off just to hang out. I also heard that he closed down a few streets in the city, so cars wouldn't go through. So people had more space to walk. Hmm. So they wouldn't be so confined together. That's a good idea. Yeah. I thought it was a good idea too. Plus, not that many people are driving in the city now. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it looks like a ghost town. I do want to check it out though. I know. That would be so cool to drive through just because it was all empty. Just to see Just to see. Just to witness ourselves Mm -hmm. what this madness, what this coronavirus has impacted in New York City. Yeah. Did you know that Governor Cuomo is like... The U.S. leader now for the coronavirus, like more people are looking towards him to him than Trump. Mm-hmm. And without him, we probably would still be at work, or a lot of people would still be at work. Mm-hmm. You know the job at Center, right? Yes. They mm-hmm. made that into a hospital already. Wow. Mm-hmm. They made like a thousand beds there. I know a lot of places that are actually large centers for media, mm-hmm. such as the Jacob Javits Center. Mm-hmm. They're making it into an extended. Uh, hospital, hospital or yeah. a place just so they could have their ill people yeah well the Treatment. corona patients aren't going to be there but it's people that need medical help medical yeah governor phil murphy announced on monday 323 that low-level criminal offenders will be released from county jails to to prevent further spreading of the virus what do you think about that that's scary to me very scary. But I guess it depends like what they were in for. Yes. I was reading that some were like sexual 
assaulters, and they're being let out. Really? Yeah. That, wouldn't that be considered a high offense? I mean, opposed to a killer, I guess they would want them out instead of oh. a killer. It was sex offenders and like illegal people, I think. That was surprising. If they're letting out people who were in jail, incarcerated, mm -hmm. and they're let go because of this virus, that's... That speaks a lot about how big the situation is. Yeah. So have you gone shopping recently? I have not. I'm very blessed that I have a mom <laughs> who shops for me. Well, I went this past Monday. Mm -hmm. Wow, how different it was. What made it so different? Well, when I was in the dollar store, that was the first thing I went to have to pick up some small essentials, mm -hmm. such as soap and such. The dollar store was somewhat dead. As you would expect, toilet paper was gone. Mm -hmm. It was completely, completely gone. Um, it's funny because I remember seeing the toilet paper fully stocked about a weekend, about a week and a half ago. Fully stocked? Fully stocked. Oh. And I even took a picture of it as well. Mm -hmm. And now it's completely gone. Why? Because someone in America decided to go stock up on, on toilet paper and then someone posts it on social media and it causes a whole freaking riot. Causes a panic. Causes a panic. <laughs> oh, there's going to be shortage of toilet paper when there isn't. But when I went into ShopRite, Nearly half of the people there shopping for groceries had a mask on and gloves. That's good. That was that was the new norm. Yeah. That is the new norm. Gloves and masks everywhere. Gloves and masks. And it's comes down to this. I I'm shopping and I'm thinking to myself, again, this is real. Mm-hmm. This is what life is like right now. And I would never think, you know, in a million years that it would ever come down to this. Yeah, me too. My mom went shopping too, and she told me she went up to the deli counter. Mm -hmm. And apparently there was a tape on the ground where she was supposed to, she was supposed to step behind that, but she stepped over it. And the person at the deli was like, stay back, like stay back where that tape is. Cause she was getting, my mom was getting too close. They were nervous? They something? were nervous, wow. yeah, because my mom was too close to the, to the counter. Wow. And then she apologized and she stepped back where the tape was. She didn't realize it. She didn't see it. So everything, you know, was, so everything was all good after that? It was all good after that, yeah. It was just, you know, we're not used to stepping so far away or being mm -hmm. that far away from the counter. Yeah. She also said that on the line, they marked down every six feet with tape and... The cashier had like a saran wrap in front of her, like there was a plastic in front of her, which is good. I guess they're being more cautious. When I went to ship out some shoes that I sold on eBay, when I went to the post office, there was a sign to it that said you would have to be six feet apart. And given it's a small room, uh, luckily there was no one there. Mm -hmm. But I did see the sign. It, it, it just said you have to be 16 feet apart. And the counters actually had a plastic film in front of you, mm. in front of the customer and the, the post office worker. So how did you give your package? It was like a little... It was a little a flappy. Hole? Yeah, it was a little, you know, it was like a flappy, uh, uh, it was almost like a curtain. You yeah. just slide it under and yeah, that was it. Each one, each... I asked the person, I asked the person in the dollar store, I asked the person in ShopRite and the post office, you know, just asking them how they were doing, mm -hmm. how's the business, how's, how's, you know, uh, and they all said everything is fine, they seemed very well maintained, none of them seemed remotely scared or, yeah, surprised, but they were content. Right. I did tell 
I did have a good conversation with the person from the doll store. She was just surprised how, what what she was just surprised about everything what's going on. And I gave her a little happiness. I gave her a little compliment because I told her people like you are risking their lives to yeah, help that's us. True. You know, and she gave me a smile back. Mm -hmm. She said, thank you. No one ever said that to me before. Aww. And you know what? Things, small compliments go a long way. Yeah, I think so. And they are risking their lives. They are... Yeah, they're putting themselves out there. Mm -hmm. Just to help the public. Just so yeah. that... There was, there was an announcement at ShopRite. The manager said an announcement on the microphone saying that one of her employees just had a birthday or it was her birthday today mm -hmm. and told everyone if they could wish her a happy birthday working Aww. on her day off. Oh, working on her birthday. Oh, that was nice. Yeah. Person working on her birthday, you know, I'm shopping just to make ends meet. Make ends meet. As we mentioned during our first podcast, we did give up social media. Mm hmm. No Instagram, no Facebook, no TikTok. No TikTok, <laughs> no Snapchat, no Twitter. None of that. None of it. Mm -hmm. I did catch up with one of my friends in California, and I told her that we did gave up social media. Mm -hmm. And she gave me a little background of what's what social media is like right now. So it's pretty much everyone is just interacting with each other, doing small games. Aww. Challenges. Yeah, I heard this yeah. a challenge. There's supposed there. to be a lot of yeah. challenges. Mm -hmm. uh, she was saying how people are taking shots for shots. So, mm -hmm. like, okay, well, well, I dare you to take a shot, and then uh, they would take two shots or three shots or whatever it is. Yeah. I'm not too sure, but um, I think it's a very clever way of just passing by the time and yeah. keeping interactive. That's other. good. At least you're really, you can um, check up on other people, see how they're doing. Mm -hmm. There's push-up challenges as well. That's Barbecue what I the heard. most. Yep. Mm -hmm. Exercises. I also contacted one of my friends, one of my close friends in California as well, just to ask him how he's doing and how his family's doing. And he said that he's doing well. I asked him how San Diego doing overall. Mm hmm and he says that a lot of people are still in. He says that a lot of people are not taking this seriously. They're not listening to protocols. They're, they're, they're all going on beach days, hanging out. Wow. He also told me that one of his coworkers' neighbors threw a party filled with 30 people. Wow, that's crazy. That 30 people. Who knows? Are what probably all have. infected. Yep. But they're also like a week behind us, I believe. In are terms they? of the virus, I think. Aren't LA's bad now too? Oh yeah. LA's getting there. And I feel like it's getting everywhere now. Yeah. What do you think is gonna happen after it? Well, when it's finally when 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 everywhere is has been hit, do you think everything is gonna pass by? I think it's going to pass by slowly, but I feel like even when this is all over, we're all still going to be super cautious. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're all not going to go into big parties anytime soon or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Speaking of big parties, Mardi Gras happened. Mardi, Mardi Gras did happen. And that was a big hotspot for the coronavirus. And their cases have skyrocketed. Yeah. Have skyrocketed. Did you know where we wanted to go? Me and my brother and all of uh, Yeah, did, wherever yeah, we were going to plan it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were I about to plan that. a trip to, for Mardi Gras. Thank God we didn't go. So, no, New Orleans is now the highest death rate. Really? Four times New York. Oh, wow. I wonder why. People weren't listening. Oh, well, yeah. They're sharing drinks there. They're all in, you know, partying together. Right. All close together. Well, they showed a live book on the news and... The whole entire French Quarters area, mm -hmm. which is their hotspot where all the bars are and food, was completely empty. Wow. However, 
there was still one guest that was there roaming around in the streets. Really? Yes. Hmm. Rats. Rats? Rodents. Wow. They are all over that street. Oh, God. Because since no one is around, there's no food mm -hmm. being thrown around. So they're looking and, for food? Right. So they're now, rats are scouring for food. And you could see them on the streets with their families. Really? Just roaming around trying to find food. Wow. I'm sure they were spoiled during Mardi Gras. Do you think New York is like that? Because you know. I don't know. Who New knows? York, New York has some fat ones. <laughs> <laughs> probably. No, they're those, crawling uh, into the... Like cats. They're crawling into the walls of the buildings now, probably. Yeah. Funny food that way. But I found that very interesting. <laughs> Ratatouille. <laughs> Ratatouille. So, in better news, Donald Trump signs a two million, sorry, two trillion dollar stimulus package. So that means all taxpayers receive 1200 Yes, correct. So if you make $75,000, thousand dollars or less you were eligible to receive twelve hundred dollars mm -hmm. couples making a hundred and fifty thousand will receive twenty four hundred per household plus five hundred dollars per child a hundred and fifty million Americans are expected to receive these checks two hundred billion is expected to go towards hospitals 250 billion are for small businesses, 500 billion for assistance for corporations, including 50 billion in funding for airlines, 250 billion in spending on unemployment benefits. That's a whole lot of money. 3.3 million Americans apply for unemployment. I'm sure it's even going up. And it's, it is. Mm -hmm. And it is expected to go way up. Yep. Yeah. So this is a good thing, this stimulus bill. Correct. But what do you think? There's other people out there who aren't going to get it because they work off the books. So it's crazy. How are they going to survive? Right. They have to find any way to meet, meet their ends. Yeah, that's true. A lot of places are hiring though. Apparently, like Walmart. Yes. CVS, Amazon. Amazon is hiring. One hundred and fifty thousand workers the latest i've heard is that a lot of them are infected though with the virus really yeah i saw it on the news and i was like wow so yeah you can work there but the odds of you getting sick is pretty high i don't know if it's worth it you're sacrificing your health for a dollar. yeah that's what i'm trying to say I don't you're know. sacrificing your health for dollars so so across the world in the philippines what's quarantine going on the philippines? is Quarantine is different there. So every household gets one pass to leave their house to go shopping now. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you have to pay to go to the market. So you have to pay like 20 pesos to get inside the, mar inside the market itself. So that keeps from just anybody going into the market and spreading right. their disease. So if you really need food... You're going to pay to get in and wow. then spend more money on food there. I like that idea. It is a good idea. I mean, it helps keep people stay in. Right. So if you're a person of interest, they're going to go to your house and monitor you. Monitor for what? Your temperatures, how everyone's feeling in the household. Are they going door to door? Yeah. Like in my grandma's town, um, the police go to your house and monitor you mm -hmm. or people from the health center go to your house and monitor you if you're of interest um they just don't want it spreading everywhere it seems like philippines is doing whatever they can mm -hmm. or doing any enforcing any protocols yeah. just to contain this virus or, or prevent it from being much worse yeah but i feel like they're on extreme lockdown though I like that idea. Do you think it's fair to the people that they have to pay to go out and buy products? I think it's I think it's fair. 
I think it's fair in a sense. But it's all it also sucks because I know poverty is really real out there. Right. So it must be hard too as well, you know. You really got to pick and choose when you go, I guess. Mm -hmm. But I guess it does really keep out a lot of unnecessary people. It does. Yeah. It does. I watched this couple on YouTube and I believe they're in the UK. And they're an extreme they're not extreme lockdown, but a lot of their they have no poultry left. So hmm. they're all turning vegetarian. It's crazy. I wonder if that would ever happen to us. America's fat. <laughs> <laughs> America will find a way. They'll probably be making fast food. Fast food. They'll have imitation. Uh, salads or something. Yeah. But in a way, it's going to be unhealthy for us. Probably, yeah. So, so all right. So in Italy, for example, the coronavirus is happening right now. Everyone is just not working. The whole the whole country shut um is shut down. Mm -hmm. Everyone is getting paid. Oh, they have a stipend. Yes. That's what I was trying to say. So mm -hmm. America does not have that. I feel like the stimulus bill is kind of like that, but I guess Italy's more structured. Right, right. But it's not regulated. It's not a... So Italy and I believe France and a whole bunch of other countries will be covered always. Mm -hmm. They included it in their... But this is just during a crisis. Yes, um... only during a crisis, correct. United States, if there's, even if there's a crisis... You're not getting. You're not, you're not getting money. anything. You're not getting any money. It's mm -hmm. just this is a. Uh, I don't know how many times, but they're just taking out the stimulus to to, to do exactly what other countries other have countries been have been doing, or or already are covered for. That's good. Yeah. That's good because our unemployment rate is crazy right now. It is. It's sad to think about. It is. I know so many people who have gotten laid off already. And it's. Just gonna keep getting worse. Yeah. At the moment is it's twenty percent that are currently unemployed in the workforce in the United States. Wow. And expect it to go up even further. You could be a manager. You could be there for ten, fifteen, twenty years. Basically my point is mm -hmm. all of your experience and all the time that you've been with them goes right out the min goes right out the window. Yeah. And you could be laid off just like that exactly unexpectedly you know you could be family to them you could uh you could be very devoted to your job and still lose it and still lose it you could be as close you know with your employees and your your hiring managers hang out and them, hang out with them hang out with them as if they were your friends yeah which probably are for some, you know, for a lot of people, mm -hmm. but, you know, when it comes down to it. Actually, I was talking to someone who got laid off and her coworkers said they're envious of her because Why? she just gets to stay at home. She doesn't have to go in and surround herself around other people with the virus, maybe. So I guess it's like people who are really scared. I mean, but, yeah, getting laid off sucks, but at least you're not out there. Like, some people have to work and like put their lives out there just to make a dollar. It's crazy. If you're living on your own, that is very difficult. That's true. And I recently helped my mom and dad move out of their house to an apartment over the weekend, and. If I lose my job, I don't have a place to go. So you, you know. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'll have no money for here. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting though. So after, so I did help my mom and dad move into their new apartment over the weekend. Mm -hmm. And during our lunch break, me and my mother went to go pick up food. And me and my mom were in gloves 
and in masks. Mm -hmm. And we went to go pick up two parts of pizza. Mm -hmm. When we walked in, of course, you know, we, we got a, uh, of course, we got a huge stare down. Were there a lot of people in there? No, but it was just, it looked like the owner looked very surprised. And I asked him, how's he doing? How's everything here? Mm -hmm. Just to be nice to him. Yeah. And try to have a good conversation with him. And lighten things up. Yeah. And he sort of kind, he sort of looks away. And I could see him somewhat shaking his head. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Why? I don't know. I don't know. It's it, the it's, new norm now. To it is. Stuff. But looking at them, they, it, it seemed like for them that nothing has happened. Yeah. They didn't take any protocols on... It it's that it's as if it was, it's as if the whole situation with this COVID nineteen virus did not affect them. That makes sense. My cousin, he told us that his boss doesn't believe in the virus, and they're all working. They're actually working more hours. Mm -hmm. But it's for a liquor store. So. Well, wow. they're they're definitely booming right now. The liquor, liquor stores because everyone's trying to get. Fuck <laughs> Everyone's just trying to get their mind off of this. I feel yeah. like this is all crazy for everyone right now. You know what? The guy that was working for the owner, mm -hmm. I spoke to him. And I the, the first thing I said to him, I looked down at his shoes. He was wearing the Air Max 90 infrareds. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite shoes of all time. And I just complimented him. Hey, look, dude, I like your shoes. Yeah. And he said, thanks, I like yours. And surprisingly, I was wearing Air Max 90s as well. Mm -hmm. My laser blues. And it kind of lightened up the mood or the tension that was going on. Because I felt it. There was a huge tension between just me and my mom and the two workers. The including the yeah. owner. The owner didn't seem like he didn't want us there. Wow. And... Me and the other worker had a little conversation. He was like, "Hey, I like um, I like your, your I like your kit hat," mm -hmm. and and we were just having a nice conversation about fashion yeah. and how in how we like Kith and how we have how we like sneakers, including Air Maxes. Mm -hmm. And he looked past my mask and gloves. Oh, that's good. At and least. I look, and we had this small, not a connection, but we, it basically lighted up the whole entire room. Right. It's like you forget about exactly. what's going on for a little bit, right. which is nice. And that's what I'm hoping us as Americans do going forward. To look past all that. Right. Because any good deeds, anything that can help lay in the mood or any compliment to anyone will help us as a whole. That's true. I feel like a lot of people right now are scared and depressed, actually. You know, there's a lot of um, commercials on TV now that say, I know you're anxious, I know you're scared, but we're all in this together. And if you're alone right now, there's someone who cares about you, and it's us. And then it's like, it shows the newscast. It's really wow. interesting, yeah. That is interesting. Yeah, and then there's like a lot of car commercials now. Um, I guess they're advertising their... Self-esteem? No, they're advertising that they can drop, they can pick up your car and drop it off so you can care about the things that matter most to you. And then it pans over to like their children. So like they don't have to go out during this, they can stay home. But they'll still make a buck. Does that make sense? Yeah. While you're so... You see, yeah. They don't want to... Basically saying that you can stay quarantined, but they'll take your car and service it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You know what? There's a lot of services that are happening from home. Mm-hmm. Did you hear about DoorDash? I believe it was DoorDash. Oh, yeah, the person who sneezed? Yes. Yeah. Gross. And it was all on camera. She served the food. 
Did they eat it? I don't know. I, yeah, I, I they, got they got corn. They they got um coronavirus from really? it. Really? Yeah. Wow. So this DoorDash driver was delivering food, and on those new doorbells ring. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could see the video of them, and then in the video they saw that the the delivery driver sneezed all over their delivery. Wow. And now that guy has coronavirus. It's crazy. Just never know. Trust no one. Trust no one. <laughs> but I mean? heard that um, coronavirus isn't like hot things. So if you have like hot tea or you make something on the stove, like you're least likely to get it. Least likely. Mm-hmm. So As opposed means... to like getting a salad and like the people handling it, you don't know if they're sneezing on it. Mm-hmm. Pregnant ladies are now doing home deliveries. Really? Well, planning to do home deliveries. Oh my gosh. They're checking with their doctors on what they can do to have the most smooth and cleanest way to have a home delivery. So I'm sure it involves family members or yeah. the in-house doctor being there. Yeah, or like a midwife coming to the house. Man. This is a new norm. This is going to be the new norm. That's true. I wouldn't want to be in a hospital that's infected with like all these patients. Right. Did you hear about the first baby who died with coronavirus, a newborn? Was it with was it with that the mother that had the virus as well? No. They both had it? I don't know. Actually, I'm not sure what happened. But I heard in Illinois that a newborn had it. The newborn had the virus and died. So it affects anyone, really. Mm-hmm. We used to think it was just older people. Right. Now it's any age. I did hear the coronavirus have different strains. Is that true? I looked it up, yeah. It said it had eight strains. Eight strains? Mm Mm-hmm. Actually, the strains on the West Coast are different than the ones on the East Coast. Is it worse? I'm not quite sure. But, so the strains on the West Coast, it originated in Seattle, so... Seattle and California have the same strain. Um, and then on the East Coast, the strains originated from China and Italy or Europe in general. Wow. Came over here. So that means that the virus is evolving all the time to different strains? Sounds like it. Wow. I don't know which one's worse. I mean, they're all pretty bad, it seems. Mm-hmm. So I did see on the news that China is going back to normal very slowly. Oh yeah. They are just taking temperature. They are, they are just taking temperatures of everyone and wearing masks mm-hmm. and gloves. I saw a picture of um, the zoo reopening, but everyone was still in masks. Mm-hmm. But they were still out there. They interviewed one of the students and they said that yeah everything seemed as if it was it was somewhat normal mm-hmm. but in the back of everyone's mind you could still see it in everyone's faces that of uh you could still see it in everyone's faces that they're still in shock yeah i think i'm going to be a big germaphobe after this yeah, I've been washing my hands a lot. Yeah, my hands are like raw. My hands are raw. My, yeah, <laughs> oh, my one knuckle is like oh, peeling. <laughs> the professional Chinese basketball league is going to start. They're preparing to start very soon. Really? Yes. Uh, I feel like that's soon. Very soon. And it's it's very soon. Yeah. Are they still in the heart of this? Are, are they still at the peak of this? They're definitely not if they're going back to... No, if they're going back to normal, see, I don't think they're Mm -hmm. at their peak. And the United States is nowhere near... No, we're just getting worse. Right. We're We're just getting started. This corona party's just starting. When I was shopping on Monday Mm -hmm. in ShopRite, I stopped by the, the poultry section. I did a double take on... The bacon. <laughs> okay. And I thought to myself about the scene 
and I Am Legend by Will Smith. Well, featuring Will Smith. Have you seen that? No. So, it's pretty much the end of the world. Mm-hmm. And one of the one of the characters in that film pretty much rescues Will Smith and she finds bacon and cooks it for him. Yeah. And then when, he, when Will Smith is awake, he gets upset and throws his plate of bacon across the room and breaks it. <laughs> wow. Because he was saving that bacon until he finds a cure Aww. Oh, to I save see. humanity. Mm-hmm. So basically he was saving that bacon until... Like that was his thing, reward? Right, that was his mm. reward. And I got another package of bacon for when this Aww. whole thing's over. <laughs> I was wondering why you bought two. Yep. Two K- I was like, wow, he must really want bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta see okay. bacon. I won't wait. I won't open the other one <laughs> until all this is over. So the death tolls have gone up. So how much? I'm not sure, but now in New York City, they have to have refrigerated trucks because the hospital can't hold that many dead bodies anymore. That's crazy. sad. You know what? I heard this is like the saddest way to die because you have no friends or family around you. Mm-hmm. They don't allow them to come in with you. And the, the last people you see are in masks. It's crazy. It's sad. They said this is the saddest way to die. And the thing is, you and thousands of other people are dying. Mm-hmm. So it's... I'm sure there's people dying next to you. It's right. scary. So they're looking at this as a norm. Yep. And dang, I, nah, I don't want to say it. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, you know, people are gonna be grieving for you, only gr- gr- grieving for you only just a little bit, and then new until then, uh, until new another, deaths. Yeah, that's true. yeah, and then it's just. Now I heard now that funerals are only you can only have up to ten people there. Also, have you heard about all these healthcare workers? Well, obviously they're not getting all the proper personal equipment they need. To protect themselves mm-hmm. but i've been hearing that nurses or other healthcare workers they don't want to take their masks off to even eat during their breaks or drink because they're scared they're going to contract the virus wow and that's that's a long work day that's a stressful and long work day how do you eat and not drink oh my goodness exactly and then i heard that they keep their their masks on for so long that it indents on their face wow. like their skin is indented from the mask Small companies now are actually making masks as well, just so they can keep up with the demand that's going on. Well, they're really making it for the healthcare workers mm-hmm. because they're in desperate need of masks. Right. Um, I saw this couple, and they actually make uniforms, mm-hmm. and now they're making gowns and masks, but they look like uniforms, like baseball uniforms. Mm-hmm. So I thought that was interesting. So it's cool that they're shifting over their business to that. There's breweries that are actually not brewing beer mm-hmm. or not making beer. They're actually making sanitizer. Really? As well. Yes. Oh. So they're doing whatever they can to help provide uh, hand sanitizing products to help care workers as well. That's good. I haven't heard about that. Mm-hmm. I'm happy to see small businesses like that doing whatever they can or playing a big part of fighting this. Mm -hmm. Did you hear about Trump promoting unproven drug treatments? What do you mean by that? Um, So basically he was saying that there was a chemical out there that could prophylactically help you not get coronavirus. So this chemical was found in like fish food. Mm Mm-hmm. And this couple in Arizona, they saw it. They saw it at home that they had it. Did you hear uh-huh. about this? I believe I did. Did they pass away from it? Yeah. They, wow. they both took it. and Well, no. One, only one passed away. But it's just crazy to see what people are doing. <laughs> Not were, the disease. Were they authorized? Were they scientists or anything like no, that? No. They were just... With random people? Yeah. They were just wow. trying to follow what Trump was saying. It was crazy. What are they thinking... What's what's going through in my thinking that it's okay to take whatever right, is non non FDA approved? Exactly. 
Are I people really that desperate? I think so. They're just trying any way not to get the, you know, the virus, the disease. Wow. It's sad. Well, now we know that it doesn't work. <laughs> so I guess <laughs> so that, whole idea, that. Uh, that whole idea is out yeah. the door. But that's just sad. That's just crazy, though. They sacrifice our lives, uh, their lives, I guess, for the testing. To the testing, yeah, I guess so. All around the world, people are are actually doing something that's very heartwarming. Mm -hmm. Not here in the United States, but Spain, Italy. Is it China as well? I don't know. I think it's mostly the European countries right now. Right. So it would be Italy, Spain, and a few other countries. Around 8 p.m., they go outside their windows and give the health workers, the healthcare workers, an applause. Right, like an ovation. And an and, and ovation for That's them. Sweet. That's very sweet. Yeah. I think we should start doing that. I think in so the too. That's so heartwarming. We do need to commend the healthcare workers because they're putting their lives on the lines for us, oh, for yeah, Americans. For sure. And I, I, that shows the world or that shows the country coming together as a whole. Working together as one, right. yeah. But when the entire world does it, that accomplishes so much more than... Just coming together. Right. It, it, it shows that, you know, us as humanity can fight together. anything. Yeah, exactly. That'd be really cool to see all of us do it. I think that is the future, though. It probably. is. It is. This really is a test, though. This virus is a test about how we could come together as humanity on what we could accomplish and what we could fight. Together. Race, religion, gender, gender doesn't have to do with uh, it. I don't want to say it. <laughs> it's know you know what I'm trying to say, yeah, right? It's like I, I can't say it. Either. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Ra race, gender, religion, none of it matters. It's like we all come together to right. fight this, or to stand as one. Stand as one. Yeah. Correct. And we're still in the beginning stages. Yeah. It's we'll see in the future, you know, how how we can handle this. But thank God, you know, we uh, people are finally. Uh, thank God we made precautions in the very beginning, instead of letting this spread, because there were other countries as well that pretty much ignored everything. They but they ignored safety precautions. Spain and then look where they are now. Did they? Yeah, they oh, they they ignored safety safety precautions. They didn't. Um, well, I don't know. I'm not fully sure, but from 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 what I what um from what I remember hearing on the news that it was, they ignored it, oh. and they just let things pass by. That's why. And they, they didn't. They yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why the 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 death toll passed. Um, surpassed. Yeah, surpassed China. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. Yeah. So we did just get off FaceTiming with my cousin, well, one of my cousins from the Bay Area. I asked him how he was doing, and he says that nothing was really much going on over there. It looks like there look, looks like that area is taking it serious, and nothing, and the virus hasn't spread. Hopefully, not too deeply. That's that good area. though. At least they're better, they're being. Safe and sorry. Right. I wonder how it is in Texas. Because that's also, you know, a big place. That's um, my other, my part of my company is there. And actually in the office, they're staggering their work people. So half a team goes in one day and the other half goes another day. Mm -hmm. So I guess they're, you know, taking precaution. But it's not like how it is over here. Mm -hmm. Where everyone's just working from home. I remember watching on the news. The, I believe it was in L.A. too, mm -hmm. the police actually shut down many private companies. Oh, yeah? Ooh. 
I do want to mention that do you, if if you guys hear that, I've been hearing a lot more sirens than normal. Uh, I would hear siren definitely a few times a day. Really? Yeah, here a few times a day. I guess I haven't really been paying attention. Maybe uh, I guess you don't have too much traffic around your area. Yeah, that's true. But um, yeah, I've been hearing sirens a lot more. two to three times a day. Definitely once a day. But anyways, uh, back to the topic on hand. Mm-hmm. I remember seeing on the news that the police shut down small businesses because they were running when they were supposed to. Oh, yeah. So they had, they had a whole list as well. They had barbershops open. Mm-hmm. They had salons open, uh, laundromats as well. Um, I believe bars as well. Mm-hmm. Just because they weren't listening and they were shut down by the police. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Is that over here? Or in LA. Oh, in LA. in LA. And that just shows how people are not taking this serious. Yeah. So it's... We need to wake up. We need to fight this together. Stay home. Stay home and... Cash potatoes save lives. Cash potatoes. I read that somewhere. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's right. Being being lazy saves lives. Yes. But that's right. But you're being proactive by staying lazy, right? And not going out, so that's good. You're saving so many thousands of people's lives just by staying by staying home. What about the shutdown uh, that's going to happen about closing the street in the city or around here? Just New York. Oh, apparently, well, all three governors... In New Jersey. Is it New Jersey New York, you're shutting down to? New York, oh, New sorry, Jersey, and Connecticut. The tri-state. Tri-state. So they're shutting down the borders. So no one, pre- pro, uh, no one can pretty much drive? From state to state. Well, because everyone from New York is, you know, they're going to their vacation homes, or they're going, they're mm-hmm. fleeing other cities just to get away because it's, like, the epicenter. It's they did... Crazy there. They did say... If you're coming out of New York, you should be quarantining yourselves for 14, for 14 days. days. Yeah. I heard that too. Whether you tested positive or if you're not positive, right. just quarantine yourself. Mm-hmm. Just because you're coming out of New York and that's the, that's the, the, hot ma- the, the hot spot right now. Right. That's true. And you could be asymptomatic and you can bring, you know, the coronavirus mm-hmm. with you. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so starting, I think it was starting yesterday. Um, all non-essential travel is banned. Wow. So that means you can't get that round trip to Miami for 50 bucks? <laughs> well, it's only gonna... <laughs> well, no, I can't, yeah. Well, I'm no. Not, I'm in Miami. <laughs> they said it's only for two weeks, though, right now, mm-hmm. that they're gonna, probably, they're gonna lift the ban. Luckily, part of that stimulus package, airlines are gonna be covered... Because part of that stimulus package, they're gonna, they're 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 part of the package of being paid as well. Mm-hmm. Wow, how 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 bad do you think this is gonna affect the economy? Oh my, my God, goodness! It's really affected already. Stocks are down. Stocks are. Wall yeah. Street's like closed. It's crazy. What? I think the boom is going to be crazy mm-hmm. when it starts back up again, too. I'm hoping people won't spend their stipends on useless junk. I can imagine people going on a shopping spree. No, that, that's going I feel straight like that's to my happen. savings. Yes. To bills. Yep. To rent. Yep, to the important things, the essential things. Mm-hmm. But you know damn well people are going to be buying. Jordans. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna look up. You get that Louis Vuitton bag Thanks, that they me. always wanted. <laughs> I mean, that would be nice, but you know, that's not what's important right now. It isn't. What do you think about the homeless? I feel bad for them. Oh, I saw that people were putting up water faucets and fountains mm-hmm. and soap so they can wash their hands mm-hmm. for the homeless people. Oh, that's nice. There's been a lot of charities going on that's been trying to hurt, uh, trying to help the community in any way they can. Actually, a lot 
lot of celebrities are like donating. Mm-hmm. It's cool to see them donate so much money, like millions. Right, right. Just to, you know, help research and help no. those in need. With a platform that big, you know, making that much money, it's, it's, they have to, they're the focus on, for, for everyone. Everyone looks up to them and they need to go set a good example. Yeah. Not just for the kids, but just for everyone in general, just so we can have positivity in our lives yeah. to fight through this. Exactly, yeah. And that concludes our second episode of the MPJD Media Podcast Series. My name is Megan. My name is Julius. And join us next week. Peace. Bye.